you know, I think it's become more like a drug to me. Because despite my better judgement to hold up for a while and... Well, get my life's issues out in order, I still would like to record some funny games and... Talk to the microphone because I can talk to no one else. Well then, this is a new game that's on the hub right now, and I think it's good. And that's all I can say about this game, really. Well, I can almost say more. Because, you know, despite my better judgement, maybe help, like, hire some people who just know how to program on Flash, but you'll know nothing about creating a game. Judging by Adventures at Ponyville and... Well, this 8-bit world... Uh, Adventure Ponies... What the hell do they have a similar names? No, Adventure and Ponies... But back to the topic. Well, despite the Adventure in Ponyville and Adventure Ponies being... Well, nice games, they certainly have their own issues. Mostly with controls. And you know, with subject matter. But I've talked about them in details, well, when I record those games. So this one... It's basically a clone of some... I don't even... I can't name you any casual games because I'm not into this casual game business. I don't have an iPhone, I've never played Farmville or Bejeweled or something like that. I think the only casual game I really enjoyed was like Picross on Nintendo DS. But is it really a game because it's just Picross? And I do enjoy Picross. As a casual game, let's say. Well, you know, if my theory is correct, this one originally was made by Nintendo and was part of a franchise with those two dinosaurs, like Bubble Bubble or Buster Move or something like that. I definitely played something like that with those dinosaurs on DS. So I don't know, maybe it's a perpetrator, maybe it's just one unlucky victim. I do have a memory of playing this sort of games, but I don't know if it's appropriate to talk about it. Uh, what the hell? No one listens to it anyway. So, basically, I know this game, and my first recollection of it was from a porn site. Granted, I was new to the internet back then, so, y you know, I found some porn website and just had it in my bookmarks just to play this game because it's, it's quite addictive. Yeah. Now I should shoot here. Yeah. But this game is... You know, despite its nature, it can get pretty tough. Especially if the score gets over 1000. Because when it gets over 1000, then I have a real probability to lose. Mostly it's because, like, you could never pick the right color. They just keep giving you, giving you all those wrong colors and add empire sprites when, you know, there's just one left. Can I? Yes, I can. Well, give it some details. One unique thing about this game is... Well, the idea here is to just create a columns of those pair sprites so they would fall off and not bother you any longer. But... Well, in all those games, they're just fixated to the ceiling or to some kind of point up there, but here's... The point is... Right in the center of the screen, it rotates. 
So you know, every time you connect the fire sprite, you give it a spin. Oh, this was cool. It deletes every enemy in the perimeter. Definitely a rare. Kind of. Well, I could talk about the strategies to this game, but... What the hell, it's a casual game. I mean, it's a good concept in, in itself because it survives so many generations and turnabouts and well. It was created by people who were genius on their work originally. So I cannot credit Hub for like making this awesome concept, but I can credit them for this unique spin. And. Well, good controls for one change, because I don't have an issue with controls, you know. They feel very natural. So. Awesome and cool. <laughs> of course, there's not much things to control here. There's just this green fire spread, which is... Oh. I think there's an angle on which you shoot this... In which you can shoot a fire spread so it would never land on the board and you know if you find this angle you can get rid of unnecessary fire spread but Well the tough part about this game is Basically you are forced you are forced to make combos all the time. Because if you don't then the counter at the top goes down by one thing and you know, if it reaches zero, then more pair spread generate on this spinner right here. So, screw again. Okay, yes, I can. And you really need to keep the compass going. Okay, if I shoot here, then here, yes. You might realize that this game doesn't teach you about its mechanics right away, and I think it doesn't really. Wow, that was that was god of me. It does a really poor job in explaining. Basically, you lose if any person touches this. R really, really, really tiny yellow arrow at the top. I think it's an arrow, anyway. And you know, when they are close to touching it. Oh, come on, go away. No, oh. Wow, that was complete luck. If they are close to touching it, they will flash red. So, you know, your secondary idea is to not forget about the spin mechanics. Because, you know, if even if you clear some fire sprites with your spin, I, I don't think I... Okay. Yes. Damn you. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was just too much blue for my taste. Um, uh, I want to... I'll try, but... Yeah... I would never make this kind of thing. You see, there was one pair of sprite, you know, which flashed red and... What the hell? Just get in there. Oh, yeah. Huh. So, this rainbow pair of sprite, it... It is basically any color pair of sprite, but you need to... Shoot it at multiple parts, like here, you see three blues and two yellow so I can get rid of both blue and yellow at the same time. And never shoot the rainbow pair spread where there's only like one of the color because it gets it gets stuck there. And you don't want you know your special bonus pair price to get stuck there. Can I No. This is pathetic of me. Sometimes you need to play a little game of billiard, you know, to get the right angle. And sometimes 
this game can just get annoying. I won't. Yes. Uh, and there. Oh. They have this. C come on! I just finished it. You see how it can get annoying if you don't make combos? Oh, this one. I think it's considered the uh, special like stuff, but what it does is it's random color, essentially. So I think it's well. I can just yes. Oh my god. You know, I'm so crappy at explaining things. And essentially, I am so crappy. Okay. No, 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 no. Yes. Yes. Get there. Yes. Get there. Yes. Oh, fuck. Oh, sorry. I don't like this. What is it? Like, lightly pink? I'm not so very well versed in colors because. No, in my life I mostly use RGB model to describe colors. It's a very mathematical way of describing colors, but it works for me because you don't have to memorize so many shades of so many different colors. Oh, this one. So, you see if I spin it, I think it's counterclockwise, I I might lose. But I didn't somehow. I don't know, this game is weird about its losing rules. I think, you know, if it spins past it, you're alright, but if it lands on this arrow, when it stops, then it counts as a loss. So, how can we get rid of you? You little rascal. I don't know where to shoot it, so I just shoot it random. And you see, it get, get stuck. Oh my god! Am I actually going to lose on the rainbow? Okay. So I... No. Come on. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. But eventually, this is a kid's success, as it seems. Can I? No, I can't. Okay, so... What do we have here? We have to spin it this way. And I failed. Can I? Yes. Yes. Why do I even bother? It just keeps giving me those wrong colors. I can do nothing about. You see, it's random color. What? What the hell would it do in green? Of all the colors in the world. Um, I think I can those to go away. stuck it on the wheel. I just got it stuck on the wheel. I just made it go stuck on the wheel. What the hell is wrong with my grammar? And my pronunciations? And, and I think this is the primary reason to who would watch those videos and get stuck. Oh, I got over to Salton. Now this is definitely going to be interesting. So... Spin it this way a little. Okay, I can't do anything about it. And I can't do anything about it either.
and they suck. Well, let's play a game. How many minutes did we... Oh, we made enough minutes. I, I didn't talk about any game. I didn't talk about anything regarding this game, actually, and, uh, well... It's 15 minutes of context. So I think I'm going to end this. Because it's just a mini game. You don't need to see me play it for hours and hours on end. Which I can do, it's addictive.